It's five quick questions on kid stuff with my friend Darlene Cooper from King's Brewing Company in Rancho Cucamonga, California. This is Trivia with Buds. it be and welcome to another episode of the trivia with buds podcast i'm your host ryan buds thanks for checking out the show remember if you like this show and you want to play with me live you can see all 14 of my weekly trivia locations at triviawithbuds.com some of my newest ones include a place called turnbull's tavern in uptown whittier california we do that every wednesday from 7 uh, 7 to 9, 7 to 9 p.m., and uh, also 33 Taps in Hollywood. That's at Hollywood and Vine, right in the heart of the uh, the touristy area down there, and it's called 33 Taps. They have a bunch of different beers on tap, as you can imagine, and uh, my friend Ken Barnard hosts there every Monday night. We do bingo from 8 to 10 and trivia every Tuesday from 8 to 10. So if you're in that area, if you're in Whittier, come check out a show. Those are some brand, brand new ones. Also, if you have a show that you want me to come host for you, um, go to TriviaWithBuds.com, click on contact, send me a message about it. I'd love to do it. Maybe you have a work function coming up where you're like, ooh, trivia would be fun, or some pop culture bingo might get my friends together for my party. Uh, we can customize whatever you want and make it super, super fun. And even if you live on the other side of the world, I can send you the questions or we could do a FaceTime type situation where I host from anywhere. So again, just go to TriviaWithBuds.com, click the contact form, and we'll get you all set up. This is a fun episode. I sat down with my friend just a couple days ago. Her name's Darlene Cooper, and she is uh, just one of the strongest, funniest people I've ever met. She's 13 years old, and um, she has gone through so much in her life already um, as a 13-year-old. It makes me really think, as somebody who's you know more than twice her age, about how much life she's lived and how much I need to catch up to somebody like her. So this is a fun little chat. She has uh, some, some great love for dolls. Dolphins and uh, and different TV shows and things, and um, she comes to trivia. Her family owns uh, King's Brewing, where I host every Monday, eight to ten. And I've been there for about a year in November, and uh, she's become a friend. The whole family has become uh, great friends of mine, the Cooper family. So I said, darling, do you want to be on my show? I have all my podcast stuff. And she said, uh, yeah, bro. So we sat down, and we did these quick five questions that I kind of just thought of very quickly about things kids might know. And since she's a kid, I think it turned into a really fun little chat. So check it out, and you can follow her on Instagram at Team Darlene. So check that out. I'll put the link in the show notes. She uh, goes on lots of adventures, and you should definitely check her out. And especially if you have kids and you listen to this show, get your kids to follow Darlene. She's always up to some fun stuff. Uh, We're going to jump into those five questions with her right about now. Here we go. I'm sitting here in beautiful Rancho Cucamonga, California, at one of my favorite places to host trivia in the world, King's Brewing Company, where I host every Monday from 8 to 10 p.m. And one of my best friends here at King's <laughs> Brewing is sitting across from me. She's 13 years old. Her name is Darlene Cooper. What's up, Darlene? Nothing much. <laughs> How you doing? You're a kid. And I said, why don't we do a quick episode of my podcast where I ask you some kid-related trivia questions. Uh, how old are you? 13. 13 going on 30. That's a movie, and that describes you perfectly, don't you think? I like that movie. You've done a lot of stuff. I feel like you've lived more life than I have at 32 because you're swimming with dolphins. You're, you're going on all these trips. You're going on all these cool adventures. What's the coolest thing you've done lately? Well, it wasn't really lately, but probably swimming with the dolphins. What was the name of the dolphin you swam with? Nani. Nani. And what did what was like the coolest trick that they did while you were swimming with them? Well, she pretended like uh, like she was a teenage girl and she learned and uh, how to scream. <laughs> really? So they can scream. That was like a dolphin scream. Can yeah. you do an impression of it right now? <laughs> Perfect. That was just my regular screen. That's awesome. (laughs) What is some stuff you're into as a 13-year-old kid? What do you like watching on TV? What are some of your favorite shows? I just, I like a lot of YouTube. Sure. That's Uh, what a lot of kids watch, right? People don't even sit down and watch TV anymore. Yeah, I'm not really into TV really anymore. I like YouTube. Um, What, do you have a favorite YouTube channel? I love the Ace Family. The Ace Family? What do they do? Are they like singing and dancing and things? No, they're vloggers. They're just like, hey, we're going to the mall today. Let's tape it. Kind of, kind of yeah. yeah. Do you do that? Are you a big vlogger yourself? No. 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 Have you ever been on a podcast before? 
No. Your first podcast. That's exciting. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, here we go. 13 going on 30, like we mentioned. This is five quick questions that I came up with very quickly uh, about things that kids are into, okay? So these are what, these are, uh, word on the street is kids love these things, okay? Here we go. Question number one. What animal is the mascot for Fruit Stripes gum? Have you ever had that? Fruit a zebra. Stripes? It is a zebra. You like that gum? Yeah, I, but the flavor gets out really quick. It's terrible. See, you yeah. know that as a youngster. I uh, grew up chewing that gum, and after about 30 seconds, you're done with it. Yeah. But it is a zebra. Nice job. When's the last time you had a, a, a stick of that gum? A uh, few months ago. Did you give one to Nani the dolphin? No. No, he would have <laughs> it too. Or she. Here's question number two on Rugrats. You ever seen Rugrats? Yeah. What is Tommy's last name? What is the last name of Tommy's family? Tommy. Tommy, the main, kind of like the main baby. He has a little brother named Dill. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, Tommy. Tommy on that show. What's his last name? My son's name is Tommy, and we call him Tommy this all the time in reference to this show. And he likes to eat this thing. Does that help you? Pickles. It is pickles. My kid loves pickles. Are you a pickle fan? Yes. Yes. Only pickle spears. Pickle spears. Okay, so you don't like slices like on a burger. Nah. Okay, I hate pickle fact. chips. You hate pickle chips. That's mm -hmm. what they are called. You know your pickles. Here's question three. What kind of dog is the mascot for Target? You go in Target and you see that dog. It's I don't know what it's called, but it's the dog that has like the spot on its eye. Yes, and it's the right. one from that one movie. Yes, that's true. It's two words. Does that help you at all? The initials are BT. Uh, Breed of dog. Any guesses? I don't kind think of tough, so. Kind of a tough one. A bull terrier. Okay, that's yeah, I would never terrier. guess that. Back in the 80s, there was a a bull terrier, I believe, named Spuds McKenzie, and it was a Budweiser mascot. It was that type of dog, and like it was like when you cracked a Budweiser beer, it was like, let's go party with Spuds McKenzie, and he would have sunglasses on. It was very silly. Uh, question number four. What do the letters PBS stand for on the network PBS? Like PBS Kids? Yeah, like PBS. That one? So like, yeah, what are those? I, I never really maybe, thought about that. You never thought about it? <laughs> they say it a lot on the commercials in between. But they're like, PBS, the blah, 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 is sponsored by viewers like you. Any guesses? No, I have no idea. That one's tough, too. Public Broadcasting System. Oh, okay, yeah, I wouldn't know You wouldn't have known that one. No. That's kind of a stinky question. Here's number five. This is the very last one. Colleen May Bollinger. Is better Ballinger. Known as what? Ma Ballinger. Is be it sounds like you know the answer already. Better known as what YouTube personality? Miranda Sings. Miranda Sings. That was my YouTube question. See, I'm hip and young with the youth, don't you think? No. Not so much? Uh -uh. The PBS question, the Fruit Stripes gum, didn't help me, I don't think at all. No, not at all. Darlene, enough. thanks for taking a couple minutes to answer those questions. You got three out of five, and uh, I think you definitely kind of knew the other one. Actually, you got four out of five. The only one you missed was PBS. Oh, and Bull Terrier. But you yeah. knew what it was. Yeah. Anything you want to plug? What do you want people to watch out there? What's a YouTube channel you want to give some love to? Uh, not a YouTube channel. Just follow my Instagram where I give uh, updates on my cancer journey. Very good. You can see those updates at where can, where can they find it? Uh, Team Darlene on Instagram. Team Darlene on Instagram. Darlene, you're an inspiration and you are uh, such a sweetheart. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks. Bye. How'd you do with those five childhood kid-related questions with Darlene? She did pretty good. She got three out of five, and she kind of almost got four out of five. And uh, a lot of people don't know what PBS stands for. That's a fun question. I kind of slip in when somebody goes, hey, ask me a trivia question. I'm like, what does PBS stand for? And they're like, and then they pass out. That's how it goes. But uh, now we all know, public broadcasting system. And uh, if you donate to them, they'll send you a tote bag, I think. That's what they usually have on those little commercials and infomercials. Uh, but that was a fun little chat with Darlene. You could play trivia with Darlene and I and the whole family over at King's Brewing Company every Monday from 8 to 10 p.m. in Rancho Cucamonga, California. Thanks for checking out this show, guys. If you have any trivia needs, go to TriviaWithBuds.com. Subscribe for this show, to this show, to get new episodes every single day. We put out this podcast in some form or another every single day. Some trivia for you to listen to on your commute, your dog walk, your workout, whatever you do. And uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you tomorrow for more Trivia with Buds. Cheers. Cheers.